Republican Senator Joni Ernst and her Democratic challenger Teresa Greenfield are on your screens commercial after commercial. So it's only fitting that we take another look at ads in this race. We'll start with an ad from the Ernst campaign against Greenfield with a law enforcement focus. Being a cop these days is hard enough so it doesn't help when liberals like Teresa Greenfield call us racist. That's the police chief in Ernst's hometown of Red Oak. The ad also features Clell Bodler, a former Republican state representative and retired state trooper. Greenfield says there's systemic racism in Iowa law enforcement. That's offensive. All this goes back to comments Greenfield's made in debates. The commercial's big claim? Just to impress the Washington liberals funding her campaign, she attacked police and called us racist. But this big claim is a big stretch. In our KCCI Des Moines Register debate earlier this month, for instance, Greenfield outlined her beliefs on systemic racism. She did say there's systemic racism in law enforcement, but not just in policing. Take a listen. Discussing systemic racism does not mean that any one individual is a racist, but rather that we have to take a look at the discrimination across our systems, housing, health care, education, finance, uh, and so many other things to ensure that we're doing everything we can to end that kind of racism. So we're calling the ad mostly false. Greenfield has said there's systemic racism, but didn't just single out law enforcement or law enforcement officers, as the ad implies. At our debate, Ernst said she doesn't believe systemic racism exists in Iowa. She did say you will find racist individuals in those systems, but doesn't believe that entire systems are racist. Now let's take a look at an ad targeting Ernst. This one isn't from the Greenfield campaign. Instead, it's from a Democratic super PAC. You won't find it here any help for Iowa from Joni Ernst. She's gone Washington now. After promising not to move to D.C., Ernst bought a luxury condo. Claim in the Senate Majority Pack ad goes back to comments Ernst made in 2013 on a WHO radio show. I don't okay. intend to go to Washington, D.C. and buy a big fancy house, relocate my family out there. The ad references a Des Moines Register article about Ernst claiming an improper tax credit at the D.C. condo, something she says was a mistake and repaid. $400,000 may sound like a lot here in Iowa, but according to SmartAsset.com, D.C. housing costs 79% more than it does in Des Moines. And $400,000 is actually below the median price of a D.C. condo, which according to Curb.com is $483,000. Ernst maintains her primary residence here in Iowa. Members of Congress have to sleep somewhere while in D.C., so renting or buying is hardly uncommon. Continuing on. And Joni Ernst voted to raise her own pay four different times. Four pay raise votes. And we've already paid Ernst more than a million dollars. Ernst makes the standard Senate salary, 174000 a year. And the alleged votes for pay raises were actually votes against spending bills. We'll show you one example. The most recent vote, the massive 2018 omnibus budget bill, contained a line that would prevent Congress from receiving an automatic cost of living pay bump. Congress has consistently blocked that raise since 2009. Ernst said she voted against the bill based on its cost. So claiming that Ernst voted to raise her pay by voting against a bill that happened to contain a pay freeze is rather convoluted logic. Overall, we'll rate this ad's claims significantly misleading. Chris Kopner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.